Hello, this is Rupert Brewing and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. Now this video is going to consider the practical demonstration of gravimetric estimation. Gravimetric, as you all know, it's based on what? Weight. And when we talk about weight, generally we talk about what? Solids. Generally. So, the aim of today's experiment is to determine the percentage purity of zinc oxide. Determine percentage purity of zinc oxide containing zinc carbonate. Zinc CO. Okay, it's, they are in solids. Okay, it's not in the form of a solution. Now, I'm just explaining the brief theory behind this. The process of heating has to be carried out. Now, the thermal properties of zinc oxide and zinc carbonate is zinc oxide is stable to heat. Okay, that means on heating, nothing happens to zinc oxide, it doesn't become process. Zinc carbonate, ZnCO3, it undergoes a partial decomposition. It undergoes what? A partial decomposition on heating. Now, how it is partial? I'll explain that. And that is, zinc carbonate on heating gives you zinc oxide and carbon dioxide. Okay, if you have seen my previous video, a barium sulfate and ammonium chloride, there was a difference. Their ammonium chloride was being converted into NaCl and HCl, and both of them were volatile. Okay, so NH4Cl undergoes a complete decomposition. Okay, into volatile components. But here, what happens is zinc oxide is stable as already told you. So only carbon dioxide of zinc carbonate is going to be what volatile. So when we are going to get a loss in weight, the loss in weight will be only due to carbon dioxide. Okay, it will be only due to what? Carbon dioxide. So therefore, there will be a slight change as far as the calculation is set. Anyways, let us first of all consider the procedure. What we are going to do is, we are going to take 1 gram of the mixture containing zinc oxide and zinc carbonate and we are going to heat it in a silica crucible. The heating needs to be carried out for around say 25 to 30 minutes to ensure the removal of entire amount of carbon dioxide. Next thing is you need to cool the crucible. Now this silica crucible has to be previously weighed because weight is very important when it comes to gravimetry. So it has to be previously weighed. Alright? Now, once the heating is done, once we are very sure that yes, carbon dioxide is removed for this duration, we need to cool it first of all in a research sheet. Okay, and then we are going to make use of a desiccator. Okay? We are going to make use of a desiccator which will absorb all the moisture. So at the end of the day, the crucible has to be in a dry state and a cool state. Alright? And then finally, we are going to take the weight. Okay, weigh the crucible along with the residue. This time I will use the word residue because carbon dioxide is no more in this particular mixture. So I use the word residue. So initially I have a weight of crucible as well as the one gram of the mixture. Okay? And then I heat it, cool it, and once again I take the weight. So obviously there will be a loss in weight. That loss in weight is only and only due to carbon dioxide. Another basis of this, so we doing some calculations and accordingly we'll find out how much is the amount of zinc carbonate because carbon dioxide was a component of zinc carbonate. Okay, so on the basis of the loss in weight, we will be able to find out the percentage of zinc carbonate. Also, we are very sure that the mixture contains only zinc carbonate as well as zinc oxide. So, once we come to know the percentage of zinc carbonate, it's very easy then. You subtract that percentage, that value from 100 and you get the percentage of zinc oxide. Okay, that's a very simple calculation. Right? Of course, I will explain the calculation. 
application of the data stage, but then this is what, my dear friends, a small part of the theory and how to ex actually execute this particular experiment. I hope you have understood up to this. We start with the practical demonstration now. So you can see the indicator is 0, 0. So we first take the weight of the empty crucible. So the crucible weight is 17.635. Now I press the button J. So it will show 0, 0. And now I will be adding very slowly the mixture into the crucible so that it is going to show 1 gram. So this is it my dear friends, we have 1 gram of the mixture, okay, and we will proceed for the heating process. Now this crucible which contains 1 gram of the mixture, we are going for the heating purpose. So this is what the assembly is, a uh, tripod stand, pipe plate frying, and the crucible is being kept, and the burner is being on. So we start with the heating process. It's a mixture of zinc oxide as well as zinc carbonate. So the heating has to be roughly carried out for 25 to 30 minutes to ensure that the entire amount of carbon dioxide is removed. You can see the evolution of uh, carbon dioxide gas. So now you can see that 25 to 30 minutes of heating is done and there is no evolution of carbon dioxide so we make sure that the entire amount of carbon dioxide is being volatilized off. So now we put off the burner. And now, with the help of a very clean tong, alright, in the previous video also I told you that we need to make sure that the tong is absolutely clean. So with the help of a clean tong, very slowly, we are going to put it on the asbestos sheet for some time. Because asbestos has the ability to absorb heat, so for some time it will be kept on it and then we will be transferring it into a desiccator. Now this is being kept on the asbestos sheet for around say 5-10 minutes. Now what we do is we make use of a desiccator. I told you in my previous video also how to open it. Ok, don't lift it, you just slide it. Now, very slowly, still keep on using your tongs. put it in the desiccator. The bottom part of the desiccator as you know is made up of calcium chloride which will absorb the moisture so that once we are going to keep this crucible in this desiccator for around 5-10 minutes so we get the required condition to weigh and that required condition my dear friends is for dry as well as cool. Ok so we will keep this for 5-10 minutes and then we will go for the final weigh. We now go for the final weighing, my dear friends. Uh, zero, zero. Desiccator, it was we kept for around say 10 to 15 minutes. You know how to open it? Yes. Slide it. We are going to use the same tong, the clean one.
and we need to check the weight. The, and the weight is 18.568. Now my dear friends, I just showed you the calculation of this entire experiment. First thing is, weight of the empty crucible. Okay, weight of the empty crucible. How much it was? 17.635 grams. Okay, next is we add it into the crucible 1 gram of the mixture. So, therefore, crucible plus mixture becomes 18.635 grams. Okay, now we are heated not the empty crucible, crucible along with the mixture. So, that's why we are going to consider this way. Okay, now we go into after heating, we have the weight of the crucible plus residue. I use that term residue. So that weight, okay, that was a loss taking place. It was because of only and only carbon dioxide. Now that weight was 18.568 grams. Okay. So this is 1 before eating, this is 2 after eating, so therefore loss in weight is equal to 18.635 minus of 18.568 before eating and after eating and that will give you 0 0.067 grams. Okay, this is the loss in weight. Now my dear friends, what happens is, when you talk about zinc carbonate, okay, now evolution takes place with respect to what? Carbon dioxide. So we'll use some molecular weights now, zinc 65, carbon is 12, okay, and oxygen is going to be 16 inch. So 16 inch means 48. So 65 plus 12, 77 plus 48 gives you 125. So, 125 grams of zinc carbonate corresponds to a loss of carbon is 12, oxygen is 16 each. So, 16, 16, 32 and 12 is 44 grams. Okay. So, 125 grams okay, corresponds to a loss of 44 grams. So, therefore, the loss of 0 0.067 grams should correspond to how much of zinc carbonate. So, what we do is... Therefore, 125 into 0.067 divided by what? 44. Okay, this is what we do. Okay, cross multiplication. So, 125 into 0.067 divided by 44. So, that is going to give you 0 0.1903. Okay, this is my dear friends. Zinc carbonate present in 1 gram of the mixture that we have taken. So therefore, the percentage of zinc carbon for 1 gram it is 0 0.1903 so for 100, because percentage is in 100 so that means we are going to do 0.1903 into 100 so that is going to give you 19.03 so this will be the percentage of zinc carbon so therefore, the percentage of zinc oxide will be 100 minus 19.03 so that comes out to be 80.97 so this will be the percentage purity of zinc oxide it's 80.97 19.03 is the zinc carbonate which can be considered as an impurity because impurity generally are in lower percentage lower proportion Alright, so I hope you have understood this calculation and you have understood the experiment as a whole.